This video is sponsored by Unity. Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and the biggest sale of the year has just started, Unity's Black Friday sale with tons of assets up to 90% off. Let's look at some of the highlights, there's tons of interesting tools and some really gorgeous assets. But on top of that, this sale also has a really exciting feature called Lightning Deals. Every day and several times a day there are new deals, they start off on a massive 90% discount and slowly the discount goes down as more and more people pick it up. So if you get it quickly you get a massive discount. The lightning deals have already started, I already managed to pick up this pack myself, lots of high quality realistic weapons. I refreshed it right away and got it at 95% off, so just 25 bucks. On the lightning deals page you can see the ones that are currently active and also the ones that are coming up. You can look at the timers to see when that deal will be at 90% off. There's a new deal every 3 hours, I will be posting some of them on the YouTube community tab, I will also be posting on Twitter, as well as on my mail list. I've added an extra option so you can go to your user settings and opt into the sale email. So if you want to make sure you don't miss those massive discounts, follow me on any of those 3 places and I'll let you know when deals change. And the sale itself has 500 of the best assets on sale, so if there's a great asset you've been waiting for then chances are it's already discounted. Also, one quick note on how the sale works. If an asset is currently on sale, that means that it's part of the regular sale and not the lightning deal. So that means that it's safe to pick it up, you don't need to wait until the end of the sale to see if that asset will later on get a deeper discount on a lightning deal. Basically, if it's already on a regular sale, then it won't be on a lightning deal. On the other hand, if something is currently not discounted, then there's a chance it won't be part of a future lightning deal. With that said, let's look at some highlights. First up, all of the assets that I covered in my asset review series, those are all excellent and they're all discounted. There's the A-Star Pathfinding Project, which I highly, highly recommend. It's a pathfinding system that is capable of adapting to pretty much any scenario. I've used it myself in pretty much all of my Steam games. Then the Odin Inspector. This one is an excellent tool for making tools. It's one of those things that if you take the time to learn, it can greatly increase your productivity. And the last one I reviewed was the Curved Worlds Asset. If you want a really unique look for your game, then that asset will surely help. Check out those review videos if you want to learn some more about those assets. They're all excellent, so if you're interested, definitely get them while they're on sale. Also, I'm currently working on some more asset review videos to look at some more interesting assets to see if they're worth it. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those videos while the discounts are still active. Beyond that, let's look at what's on sale. If you are a regular viewer on this channel, then there's tons of assets that I've used in several videos that are currently on sale. I normally post links to the assets in the description so you can find them there. If you're a fan of the low poly style like me, then there's plenty of synthy assets on sale. There's the Battle Royale pack with a really nice map, tons of props, weapons and everything. There's also the Heist pack, great for any kind of heist game. I've used both these packs in quite a lot of my videos. And another one really cool is the Street Racer pack, tons of really awesome cars, lots of props, characters and everything. If you want something more fantastical, here's the Fantasy Kingdom pack. This one is huge with over 2000 objects, 20 characters, a dozen vehicles, modular castle and houses and tons of modular weapons. So pretty much if you like Synthi style, just check out their entire publisher page, almost everything is on sale. Something else that is also low poly but not from Synthi is this low poly ultimate pack. This one is a massive bundle which I picked up myself a couple of sales ago. It's very useful when you need some random assets. I used a bunch of these in making my racing RTS game. With so many items included, it was super easy to just use the search bar on the project files to find just about anything. Then for a really awesome destruction tool, here is Rayfire. It's an extremely performant plugin that allows for infinite destruction of any 3D objects during runtime. Easily shoot, explode or even blow objects with wind forces. Works on regular meshes but also on skin meshes. So you could even slice characters kind of like in Metal Gear Rising. There's mountains of settings to play with, so if you want some destruction in your game then this is perfect. And if you have a game with destruction then you probably need to aim and shoot some weapons, so here is Final IK. It's an excellent IK solver with tons of features. The most obvious one would be applying it to your weapon in order to aim at the target perfectly whilst keeping all the arms correct. You could also use it to correctly place your feet on the ground. This developer has tons of videos on YouTube, both tutorials showing you how to use this tool as well as showcase videos showing you what it can do. Then for a complete game template, here is the top down engine. This is a fully featured game template, so just like the name says, it contains all of the features you could possibly need in order to make any kind of top down game. Works in both 2D and 3D, and it includes pretty much anything, so character controller, inventory system, AI, camera, level parts, and even multiplayer. If you need to draw any kind of shapes, then check out shapes. 
It's an extremely performant, extremely adaptable tool for drawing any kind of shape. This is a vector graphics library, so you can zoom in and out as much as you want and it will always look great. Works for generating flat 2D shapes, like some simple lines, rectangles, circles and so on, but it also supports 3D shapes, so spheres, cubes, 3D lines and more. I think this one is an excellent tool to have, and if you learn how to use it, it will be massively useful whenever you need to display pretty much anything. Then here's a tool that will certainly give your game a very unique look, Clixels. It uses voxels to sculpt objects in a way that works kind of like clay. You can sculpt in the editor or even during runtime. Then for games with crafting, check out this animation pack. I picked this one up in a previous sale, tons of really useful animations. Anything you can think of related to crafting, so you have cutting down trees, shoveling, fishing, picking up things and putting them down. In total, over 100 animations and for a pretty low price, so if your game has crafting or gathering of any kind, then this one is really useful. For example, the animation that I used in my Squid Game video for the characters banging on the walls, that was from this pack. It's a wall hammer animation, just without the hammer. Next up, if you're working on a car game and you want some super realistic physics, here's a great asset. It has tons of very positive reviews, supports just about any vehicle setup, so street, truck, drifting and more. It's easy to use, just drop a prefab and hit on play. Features a damage system, which also affects handling. And it also includes audio effects, everything from engine sounds to tire skid and body impacts. Then if you need some toony effects, check out this one. All of these look great, really nice and cartoony. Lots of smoke, explosions, hits, glows, fears, bolts and more. And it even includes some emoji effects. So if your game is full of color, then this one is an excellent way to add that extra bit of polish. Something that always looks great is volumetric lighting and fog. This asset does exactly that with tons of features. You can easily change the density, height, tint, quality and much more. Looks great and works in URP. Or maybe you're working on a fighting game? If so, here's a bundle with a ton of animations. Features multiple fighting styles, tons of punches, kicks, jabs and blocks. And naturally it's all humanoid animation so it works with any character. Perhaps you'd like to make a farming game? If so, then this one might be a great starting point. It has tons of features, everything you could possibly need. It's got a player controller, inventory and crafting system. You can hunt, you can fish, farm for resources and then eat them. And up next, here's an excellent tool to really take your game's polish to the next level. Easily add tons of tiny effects that really change the entire feel of your game. Add some screen shake, particles, haptics, lights and tons more. It's got a custom editor, so it's super simple to add any effect and iterate upon it to get your game feeling just right. Another recent video of mine was the Squid Game Remake. In there it was pretty crucial to highlight the players and for that I used this asset, the Highlight Plus. It's super easy to use and has tons of options to get the highlight working exactly as you want it. Then if you need some super high-end realistic weapons, check out this one. Really high quality, all of them feature 4K textures. Includes 19 weapons and tools. So you've got assault rifles, SMGs and shotguns, but then also some more unique ones like a baseball bat, flashlight and compass. If you like to give a go at animating your characters while they talk, this asset seems great to do that. You define the shape for each sound and it automatically lip syncs from the auto files. Pretty interesting. If you want some weird mesh effects, take a look at this one. You take any mesh you have and deform it in just about any way you want. Squeeze, stretch, warp and twist. Do anything you want with the 50 modifiers and stack them in any combination. For a really awesome terrain tool, here is Gaia Pro. This is one of those assets that has been in constant development pretty much since Unity has been around. This tool helps you save time by easily letting you build massive worlds that look very natural. You select your world size and biomes, procedurally generate terrain based on the criteria you set, you apply textures, plants and rocks to your world, set up lighting, wind and water, and easily optimize it to work on desktop or on mobile. Or maybe you just want a whole ton of visual effects, here's a bunch of them. Lots of effects that can be easily applied to any mesh. You've got lightning, fire, ice, nature, void and tons more. So this one would be great for making your weapons or your character look really special. Or maybe you want some effects but in top down, so this one would be great for any kind of strategy game. They all look really excellent, you've got basic explosions and then some really creative ones. If you want to move your characters and have them interact with the world around them, look into this asset. It applies physical simulation onto your character, so if you step over a rock or bang your head, then the character acts accordingly. The end result really makes it feel very satisfying just to move around. 
If you're working on a cartoony game and you need a tune shader, here's one. Works on all of the render pipelines, looks really great. You define how intense you want the shadows, set up an outline, and it even features refraction through glass, ice, or liquids. Based on the video, it looks straight out of an anime. A while ago, I made the third-person shooter video. When I needed the rifle animations for the final demo, I grabbed a pack kind of like this one. These are all humanoid animations, so they work with any humanoid character. And of course, you can combine them with any rifle-shaped weapon. Contains all of the animations you might need, basic idle and shooting, there's dying, throwing grenade, and even melee attacks. If you need a giant UI pack, check out this one. It's always useful to have some UI packs for when you need them, and this one is great. It has a massive amount of icons, buttons, and sliders for just about everything. And it's also in a nice clean art style, so this one would fit just about any game or even any non-game applications that you want to build. Features thousands of objects and 9 unique themes. Or maybe you need some textures, so here's a massive pack. Over 600 unique textures in a nice hand painted style. It has everything you could possibly want, so lots of things for floors and walls, so dirt, bricks and cliffs. Tons of wood and rock textures, and even some weird crystals and patterns. For something to help you populate your world with tons of vegetation, check out Vegetation Studio Pro. It's designed to be an improvement on the standard terrain tree and vegetation system, so it's spawned using a flexible set of rules which you can easily customize. You can add masks to define where objects can be placed and define specific biomes. It uses the job system and burst compiler, so that makes it extremely efficient. Or maybe if you're working on a VR game, then picking up an interaction asset like this one can be very useful. It supports all of the Unity compatible headsets, so that's pretty much anything, the Quest, Rift, Index, and so on. What this does is it helps you easily do all of the base things that you need to do in VR. So it helps you handle grabbing and throwing objects, interact with buttons, levers, doorknobs, smooth locomotion and teleport, single-handed and two-handed weapons, climbing, grappling, trekking, and lots more features. Then here's an interesting one if you're making a game kind of like Civilization or Hearts of Iron. It's a very powerful toolkit for creating strategy games based on real or fictional maps. Features multiple view modes, completely 2D or completely 3D. Includes several Earth background textures in an insane resolution. It's got a day-night cycle, curved map mode, country borders, cloud layers, and tons more features. Alright, so that's just some of the highlights from the sale. There's over 500 assets on sale. With so much awesome stuff, hopefully you will find something that will help you with whatever project you're currently working on. The sale is running until the 4th of December. And as always, when you use any of my affiliate links, it's the same price you, you get some awesome assets, and you help support the channel. So it's a win-win all around. And don't forget those lightning deals. They are constantly refreshing, constantly new and starting, and if you get to them on time, you can get a massive 90% off discount. Just go to the website and enable the asset sales emails and I'll let you know when a new one starts. And lastly, remember how lightning deals are separate from the regular sale. So if there's an asset you want and it's currently discounted, you can get it right now. If it's already on sale, that means it won't be on a future lightning deal, so there's no need to wait until the end of the sale to pick it up. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.